it's Janae from Kids Up CrossFit and we're back for another weightlifting day. Um, today's workout is going to feature the push press and we're going to be doing five sets of five reps each. A um, couple different ways to approach it. Uh, you're going to start by warming up to your working weight and then you can either choose to keep that weight consistent over the course of five sets or build in weight as you go, eventually ending up at something that's a little bit heavy for the day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the points of performance for the push press and then we're going to talk about the accessory work that comes after. So, the push press is going to start with your feet about hip width apart. You're going to have your hands just outside of your shoulders. You're going to rest the bar on your torso and have your elbows just in front of you. It's a little bit easier to see how this movement works from the side, so you'll notice that my elbows are just in front of my body and I've got a good upright torso. So, most of the overhead weight movement in this comes from your hip drive, actually, rather than just the strength of your arms, like a strict press. And the way that you're going to be able to leverage your lower body strength is by giving a slight dip in the knees, which brings your torso down a little bit, and then popping up using your leg drive. You'll know if you're doing this right because it starts to feel the bar become weightless. So slight dip, drive up, extend your hips, and you should see the bar, feel the bar, start to come off your shoulders a little bit as you go. Um, to complete the movement, you're going to slight dip in the knees, torso down, and then as you extend your hips, you're going to push the bar up and over your head. Movement is complete at full lockout up on top. Okay. From the front, it's going to look like this. And one more time from the side. Notice my torso is straight up and down, only a slight dip in the knees. I'm not bending all the way forward. I'm not coming down into a full squat. I'm not pushing the bar out in front of me. Slight dip drive, bar straight overhead. I want to try to keep as straight of a bar path as possible. Okay. Once you're done with your push presses, we're going to move on to our accessory work. And those are going to include three rounds of 100 foot single dumbbell carry, um, 50 band pull aparts or reverse flies if you don't have bands, and then 25 plank to wall supports. So dumbbell carries, dumbbell straight over your head, nice locked out position. Walk 100 feet on one arm, turn around, 100 feet back on the other arm. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can pick any heavy object that you can hold overhead whether it's a soup can or a box of something, backpack with a book in it, lots of options there. Um, for our pull apart, it's meant to be something that's quick and unbroken. So you're going to grab the band, hold the end, make sure you get um, good tension in the band so that you're not smacking yourself in the face. If you don't have bands, you can use dumbbells and you can do reverse dumbbell flies. So slight bent position, pull the weights up and back. For our plank to wall supports, those are going to look like this. You're going to come down into a plank, shoulders stacked over your hands, and you're just going to alternate hands up the wall. 25 reps of that. You're going to do each of those three movements, um, one right after the other, for three rounds, and that's your success rework for the day. Um, hope you have fun lifting some weights. Hope to see you soon.